The compact truck market is becoming increasingly competitive, especially after the successful launch of the Ford Maverick. Toyota, GM, and Volkswagen are just some of the car makers jumping on the bandwagon to get a piece of the compact pickup market, and now Subaru is joining them. According to reports, Subaru will be bringing back one of their iconic small pickup nameplates, just like Ford did with the Maverick. Join us as we look at Subaru's all-new $25,000 pickup truck and how it stacks up against the Maverick. According to many industry experts, Subaru is working on its own compact pickup truck, which will be a relaunch of the legendary Subaru Brat from the 80s. The Brat, which stands for Bi-Drive Recreational All-Terrain Transporter, was introduced back in 1978 and quickly became a hit. It was one of the original compact pickup trucks of its time, inspired by other cool coupe-based light utility pickups like the Chevrolet El Camino and Ford Ranchero. But here's the twist. Subaru took the roots of their Leon wagon and created something truly unique. What set the Brat apart from the competition was its awesome all-wheel drive system. While other trucks were stuck with two-wheel drive, the Brat had the advantage of all-wheel drive, giving it better traction and off-road capabilities. It was a versatile little beast that could handle all sorts of driving conditions. People loved the Subaru Brat so much that it kept on selling until 1987. But sadly, Subaru stopped importing it into the United States, leaving a void in their lineup. Records indicate that around 100,000 Subaru Brat pickup trucklets found their way into the hands of American drivers. Back in the day, many of these little trucks were used for work purposes, tackling all sorts of tasks. However, as time went on, a lot of them ended up neglected and forgotten, left to rust away in junkyards or tucked away in the corners of people's backyards. Now though, Subaru has noticed the growing popularity of compact trucks and wants in on the action. They're determined to make a comeback with their own version of a compact pickup truck, taking inspiration from the Brat's legacy. They're planning to give it a fresh design, modern features, and of course that famous Subaru durability and versatility. Now the juicy details are still a bit hush-hush, but here's what people are speculating. When it comes to battery electric technology, Subaru hasn't been leading the pack. Currently, their lineup only includes one electrified model, the Solterra, which was developed in collaboration with Toyota. However, the introduction of a new Brat model presents a perfect opportunity for Subaru to reintroduce hybrid technology and expand its electrified offerings. Just like Ford's successful move with the hybrid-powered Maverick, a hybrid Brat could be a game-changer for Subaru. The Maverick has been well-received by drivers who appreciate the combination of a practical pickup truck with impressive fuel efficiency, reaching up to 40 miles per gallon on the highway. This formula has proven to be a blueprint for success in the segment. Subaru, on the other hand, has been relatively limited in terms of hybrid options, with the Crosstrek being their primary model benefiting from hybrid technology. However, the introduction of a redesigned Brat with a standard hybrid powertrain would be an excellent way for Subaru to re-establish its presence in the hybrid market and cater to the increasing demand for fuel-efficient pickups. By offering a hybrid Brat, Subaru would not only enhance its lineup, but also provide customers with a compelling and eco-friendly option. The combination of the Brat's compact and versatile design with a hybrid powertrain would deliver a winning combination of utility, off-road capability, and improved fuel efficiency. Creating a new Subaru Brat or Baja successor wouldn't be as tough as you might think. In fact, it makes a lot of sense for Subaru to do it. Just take a look at the Hyundai Santa Cruz. It's basically a restyled Tucson with a bed, and it has a design that's more Subaru than Hyundai in our opinion. Subaru already has the building blocks in place. They can take an existing compact crossover SUV platform, add some tweaks to the suspension and chassis to accommodate the bed, and voila, it could be the best decision they've ever made. The best part is the research and development costs would be pretty low, but the potential sales could be through the roof. When it comes to the base for their compact pickup, Subaru has a couple of options. They could use the newly redesigned Subaru Crosstrek, the trusty Subaru Forester, or even the mid-size Outback Wagon, just like they did before. Regardless of which one they choose, both models ride on the highly versatile Subaru Global Platform, SGP, which forms the foundation for pretty much every model they sell in the US, except for the rear-wheel drive Subaru BRZ. It's a total no-brainer to have an off-road variant of the new Subaru Brat. Subaru has been making waves with its Wilderness sub-brand in recent years. These Wilderness models take Subaru's already impressive performance on dirt and snow and enhance it with extra all-terrain features. 
Just look at the Subaru Forester Wilderness and Subaru Outback Wilderness. They come equipped with awesome features like suspension lifts, all-terrain tires, underbody protection, and more. Now imagine if they added a wilderness trim to the revived Brat pickup. It would be an instant win. The Brat would already have a solid all-terrain foundation, thanks to Subaru's renowned symmetrical all-wheel drive system as standard equipment. So, throwing on some additional off-road goodies just makes perfect sense. If the Brat Wilderness had comparable all-terrain capabilities to the existing Wilderness models, it would be more than capable of conquering campsite trails and handling heavy snow. It would be the ideal vehicle for a weekend getaway, allowing you to explore off-the-beaten-path destinations with ease. The new Brat will most likely ride on the same unibody Subaru Global platform as the rest of its fleet. However, that doesn't mean it couldn't be a capable towing vehicle. While it may not be able to match the towing capacities of heavyweights like the Toyota Tacoma or Ford Ranger, Subaru could offer an upgraded towing package to maximize the utility of the mini truck. This package could include various features to enhance towing performance, such as upgraded shocks and struts for improved stability, larger brake pads for enhanced stopping power, upgraded transmission cooling for better heat management, a dedicated tow haul driving mode, and a 360-view camera system for added visibility and maneuverability. Taking a look at the Ford Maverick, it offers a 2,000-pound towing capacity in its base trim, which increases to a 4,000-pound limit with the proper equipment. On the other hand, a properly equipped Hyundai Santa Cruz can tow up to 5,000 pounds, with Subaru's standard symmetrical all-wheel drive system and its turbocharged engines, achieving similar towing benchmarks is certainly within reach for a new Brat. However, it's worth noting that the continuously variable transmission, CVT, used in models like the Forester and Outback, could potentially be a limiting factor when it comes to towing performance. While CVTs offer smooth and efficient power delivery, they may not be as well suited for heavy-duty towing as traditional automatic transmissions. Subaru would need to carefully consider this aspect and potentially make modifications or offer alternative transmission options to ensure the towing capabilities of the new Brat are competitive within its class. A new Subaru Brat is expected to debut in 2024. If Subaru wants to make a real impact in the compact truck segment, it should prioritize offering the new Brat at a starting price below $25,000. When Ford introduced the new Maverick with a base price of around $22,000, it caused quite a stir. Suddenly, people with more modest budgets could afford to purchase a brand new truck that offered genuine usability. Subaru can learn a thing or two from Ford's playbook and follow suit by offering at least one version of the revived Brat with a price in the same range as the Impreza. There's a significant demand for affordable trucks in the market. Just take a look at Ford's struggle to keep up with the overwhelming number of orders for the Maverick. Buyers are eagerly lining up to get their hands on their own trucks. If Subaru executes it properly, an affordable reboot of the Brat has the potential to be a smash hit. By offering a competitively priced Brat, Subaru would open up the world of compact trucks to a wider audience. It would appeal to those who have been longing for a versatile and practical truck but couldn't justify the higher price tags of larger pickups. A more affordable Brat would not only attract budget-conscious consumers but also create a buzz in the market, drawing attention to Subaru as a player in the compact truck segment. What do you think about the upcoming Subaru Brat? Let us know down in the comments section.